no it didn't i'm dumb sorry guys please don't make fun of me if i'm being dumb i will cry So I've just been heavily debating what kind of makeup look I want to do for this. And it's just, ugh, I don't know. We'll see. Please excuse the difference in the background if there's any mess or anything. We had to do a lot of moving around. And so now everything's set up in the bedroom rather than the office that we have. We were planning on hopefully getting a roommate. Will that work? I don't know. So we had to clean up our office just in case the roommate ever wanted to come around and stuff. Hasn't happened yet. We don't know what's gonna happen so it's all up in the air so everything's kind of in the room now everything's kind of a little bit cramped and if it's messy my apologies so today i wanted to do a little review on the new mean girls movie so this mean girls movie is a movie on the musical that was all made created directed by tina fey um and we do have some amazing cast in it as well like renee rap She's really amazing in it, and she did a really good, good job, but we will get into that in a little bit. And I wanted to just compare it to the movie, um, the musical, to everything, how it came together to this new movie about the musical, and how they change, incorporated stuff, and all of that, and just kind of get into it, get my opinions, get my thoughts, um, what I do my makeup, and a little... I guess Regina George inspiration. That's probably what I'm gonna go with because honestly, I don't even know at this point. So I'm also sick, so I apologize for that. It's not gonna be sounding pretty, so yeah. All right, so I have my little notes right here. Nothing big, nothing major, just stuff that I noticed, stuff that I wanted to point out, so yeah. So while I try my best to do my makeup, we're gonna go ahead and um, get into this conversation, so. If you guys are interested in everything getting used, I will try and post everything down below. I'm not good at that shit, so. We'll see if I post everything or not. Um, or I'll just do it better in another video. We'll see. I'll get started with my brows because that's the major thing here. And I can't do a makeup look without my brows. So honestly, if I don't do my brows, what is the whole point? So I'm going to quick do my brows um, and then come in and talk about the movies and stuff like that. It's because... I really focus on my brows a lot, so I don't want to, like, focus too much on them and then be quiet and not talk and all. Like, right now, I'm trying my best to not get into an important discussion of the movies because then I'll, I'm going to get um distracted. So, also, guys, this cough is so not it. So, yeah, I'm just going to make a little conversation. This cough is so not it. I'm, like, so upset and annoyed that I have this cough because... Dom and I's second anniversary is coming up this Thursday and we're both sick and we're just going to be so mad if we can't really celebrate how we want to celebrate. It's just annoying. I got medicine today, so I've been drinking medicine for like two, three days already, but <clears throat> we'll see what happens. Okay, so my brows are done. They're probably not perfect, but so I apologize for that, but... Yeah, so let's just go ahead and get into this as best as we can. First of all, AMC is doing a special thing where they're selling the mean book tin, tin box for the popcorn and they're selling a cup. And yes, I did get them. So the cup is this one right here. So it is pink. It's like a hot pink situation going on. And it has all these stickers that represent the movie. So we have like the mouse ears and it says mouse, duh. We have the little bunny ears. That's so fetch. Crown. The R, the Kiss, Queen B, and we have like um, P for the plastics. This has Mean Girls right then and there. I will obviously put a better shot of this. This cup, I believe, was a $16.99, if I'm not mistaken. If I am wrong, I apologize, but from what I remember, it was $16.99. So um, it is pretty big. It was really nice, and I really like it. There's nothing wrong with it. It feels it, a little bit expensive for the material, but I mean, what can we expect really it's it's a promotional thing so was it missing something yes i do think there was a couple of things that could have been done differently or just change you know maybe a lighter pink rather than this like hot pink in my opinion um one thing that i plan on doing myself because i think it'll just be better will be to rhinestone the lid so hopefully i'll be able to get that done as soon as possible because i just think it'll be great i'm all about like bling and shiny and rich and pretty and stuff like that and i think rhinestones would have gone perfect with that so and then we have the tin popcorn box right here um again this is just a 
meant to represent the burnt book so it has burnt book has like the little drawings and stuff of the school and all the back has kisses right there the side says mean girls and it's all like scratched like in a book if you open it it's pretty much it nothing special so um so it is this one if you buy it it does come with popcorn my theater asked if i wanted to put the popcorn in here or if i wanted it on the side and i'm glad i said on the side because this is not big enough for like a large at all um so there was that so thank you to the um employee of amc that asked me if i wanted my popcorn on the side because i just it was it, it was a good question because i paid a lot for this i do think this was 20 dollars. i think it was 19.99 um and again, it was not going to fit a large popcorn, so I'm glad I, I got the popcorn on the side because that would have been a waste, really. Okay, so getting into the movie. So a lot of the people, for some reason, I mean, when I saw the trailer, I thought it was pretty obvious to me. I know not a lot of people caught that, which is understandable, but also I don't get why people thought there would be a remake of the movie this soon. I mean, the movie's not even old, and it is still a classic movie. Why would they make a remake of it? So, some of the people that I would talk to, co-workers and stuff like that, they all kept thinking that it was the remake of the movie. And I was like, it's not. It is very clearly the musical. There's a reason. There's a musical note in the title. And they were all like, no, it's a remake. My sister messages me, and she's like, Oh, so it turns out it's like a musical. There's like a song every five minutes. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, obviously, it's not going to be a remake of the classic movie that's not even old. I had already known that this was going to be a musical. So going into this, I was not expecting a full remake. I was expecting the musical. Now, one thing that I was a little bit surprised with is considering that Tina Fey was the one that created the musical and the film of the musical, why some things were changed. Now, I'm not an expert on how movies are made. I'm not an expert on all that stuff of like dealing money-wise and all that with the movies and budgeting and what can and cannot be in films. But given some movies that are made that are just like a little too much, I don't know. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the movie. So once again, this movie is a musical. So um, they had a lot of chances and making sure they got the right people and stuff like that and they did everybody sang amazingly everybody performed amazingly i don't think there's anybody that couldn't hit a note they all did so good i liked it i really did like it i think the whole crew were nicely trained to sing and they all just hit it nicely they all did really good there was nobody that didn't know how to sing um and that was i think the most important thing because you don't want to have somebody that doesn't know how to sing right so, um, song-wise, I really did like the songs. Um, they were all somewhat the same. I think there was just um one song that was different. If I'm not if if I'm not wrong, but from what I noticed, I I don't know. I've seen the musical once, so I'm trying to remember from the notes that I made. So, if I'm not mistaken, in the musical we have "It Roars," which is Katie's song coming into the high school. Um, in the movie we have "What Ifs," which is she's basically just talking like what if this what if that type of situation um so that was a little bit of a change already immediately that i noticed um another change that i was very confused by and i'm curious as to why that being said i have not done any research on this movie i'm just giving my opinions and my thoughts from what i know so please take that into consideration one thing i did not understand was why katie's dad was like gone katie has no dad in the movie musical but in the musical she still has a dad so i don't know um was that supposed to be like um a feminism move where like mom can handle africa and a teenage girl going from kenya to the city in chicago right No. yes i don't remember anyways um and dealing with this teenage girl by herself like is that what it was supposed to represent because if so kudos you did a really good job um if it was because you couldn't find somebody to play the dad well i don't know really i don't get why stuff like that happens i'm very curious how how and why stuff like that happens when i 
oh, we couldn't find somebody to play this person, so we're just going to completely cut this person out of the whole script. Does that happen? I don't know. Somebody needs to tell me because I'm very interested in all of this stuff. So it'd be really nice to know. So that is something that I noticed. That was something that was kind of off to me that Katie didn't have a dad because I do feel like dad does play a role in the musical either way. But it's okay. It still worked out. It's not like we missed out on anything. It's not like dad was like one of the main characters. So it worked out just fine. I don't even know if you guys can see my makeup. And if not, I'm sorry. It's just very light looking for some reason. Ugh. Can y'all see anything? Hopefully. It's fine. It's fine. It is all fine. I'm gonna go with like a pink shade now because all the other ones were a little bit more neutral. And we would need pink because that's the whole point. That they wear pink on Wednesdays they wear pink casting wise I think they did a pretty good job um none of the cast really like I don't know like I think they all did fine I don't think there was a bad cast member in the show that being said so I'm sorry if I butcher any names not my attention I apologize um <clears throat> but we have Renee Rapp as Regina Renee obviously did amazing did so good singing on point and Jerry Rice I hope I said that right you were amazing as Katie adorable I think you did an amazing job at bringing Katie um the personality that she is I think the only issue I had was like she has such a baby face and like such an innocent face that when she tried to like well not when she tried when she did katie being a big girl like like no do you think i'm stupid and like calling erin a biatch it was kind of like funny because it didn't fully fit because you just she just has such an innocent face it was kind of like you can't really see her <laughs> like being a mean girl and it came out in a comedic way it came out in a better comedic way, I guess, than, like, Lindsay Lohan. Because I think Lindsay Lohan was able to pull off that, like, yeah, I'm a mean girl now, I'm a bitch situation. Really nicely. Um, as for um, Anjuri, again, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, was more of, like, I'm a mean girl, but I, I can't really be a mean girl. <laughs> so it was nice. I did like it. She Again, she did a pretty good job. I really did like her character and the way she played Katie. Um... She did a pretty good job. Her singing was also amazing. And her shift was not bad. She did a really good shift. She played with it really well. So there's that. And then we have B.B. Wood. Oh my, oh my god. You are precious. You are just so cute. My partner and I came out of that film and we were talking, came out of the theater. So we were talking about like the cast and all. And my partner was like, yeah, Gretchen was just so cute and she always made me feel bad for her because of her like her baby face and how like puppy dog eyes and yes, yes. You she just has this <laughs> she has this like adorable doll face. And when she was hurt or upset because of what Regina would do to her, she played it off so nicely and it made you feel for her. You were like, girl, Gretchen, you deserve better you know type of situation she did so good i loved it i loved every second of it um every second of gretchen was great i don't think there was a single moment that i did not like um i think it was amazing <clears throat> being that she is um cuban is she not if i'm not mistaken um or am i wrong i don't know i thought she was not like fully white american um if she's not, I think it was amazing that they added her just talking like one word in Spanish. Um, it really brought light to to that of like she is not this white American, which is what I don't think Gretchen was either. Um, so it really also like brought that out as well. And she did she did great. I loved every part that she did. She did a really good job. Anyways, I hope I said all of that right, because if I didn't, shame on me for being a Latina and not knowing how to, um, you know, express what I'm trying to express, but 
my apologies really so yes she did pretty good i love the way she did gretchen um her songs were great just like in the musical there was a couple of things that were different of course like when um when we first hear what's wrong with me in the movie it is played differently than it was in the musical so um there's that but that was pretty much it now we have christopher who plays aaron christopher did an amazing job um i do think he was more of like a pretty boy rather than like um a sporty type of situation which is like what aaron is but either way i don't think he did a bad job i think he did pretty good in playing the role for aaron and i think he nailed it i think he did a pretty good job in bringing aaron into the screen from what he is in the musical um i think the only no i don't think i have any comments towards him i don't think i have anything like crit critique to say about him um the one thing i am disappointed with again i'm like all over the place sorry about that was that we didn't see him sing so i don't know if christopher doesn't know how to sing if he doesn't know how to sing why did they give him the role or why give aaron singing lines in the musical and then take them off for the film i was really excited to see aaron sing um especially um stupid with love i think it was gonna be like amazing the reprise but that didn't happen so spoiler alert that song the reprise did not come into the movie so I think Jenna Fisher did amazing. Um, Busy Phillips did amazing as well. Busy Phillips, you're always funny. Crack me up. You do a really good job in being in the comedic roles. You do so such a good job. Then we have Ali who played Janice. <laughs> you did so good. I think she did. She did amazing. I really like the way she brought Janice onto the screen. Um, I love the way she performed. Um, rather be me she did such a good job also singing the iconic it's fine really it's fine i cannot sing right now because i am so sick <clears throat> um i think being that that was one of like the audios that was bursting out in tiktok i she delivered it amazing good job precious you did amazing i loved it and we have jackal who brought damien <laughs> It was amazing. Also, great work. Did really good. I don't know why I'm putting concealer again when I already have it there. Anyways, um, such great comedic acting and singing as well. Brought it all together as amazing as he could. And I liked it. I think he did an amazing job in bringing Damien. Perfect. So now I can get into, I'm sorry I mispronounced this, Avantika. no no issue with her as an actress whatsoever she's a great actress i think i have an issue with tina Fey because didn't she like direct the movie i think she directed this movie so yeah i think i have an issue with the directors and them letting her act Karen the way she did my issue with how Karen was portrayed in this was that it was very obvious acting for being dumb and I did not like it it's not something that I enjoyed I being into like the original film in 2004 I loved the way Amanda Seyfried played Karen Karen was one of my favorite characters um and she was meant to be like this she's regina calls her a whore she's stupid but she's not played into sex as much as she was in the musical and it's something that i did not like i don't know i mean i i also have not read the book that is also on me. I do apologize once again. I'm bringing my thoughts and my opinions with stuff that I know, not stuff that is accurate and, and all of that. So I have not read the book, but I've seen the movie, I've seen the musical, and I've seen the new movie. So I'm just trying to 
bring all of those together, not including the book. So I think she just had this like doe eye all the time and little things like sticking a straw in her nose um, and the way she delivered the line, that's my life goal to never touch a tiger, um, was not delivered as it was in the musical, which is, which was an issue. Um, all the other stuff was like fine, like her way of acting in the singing, I want to say, like when she sings sexy, I think she did, she did pretty good. Her singing was not an issue at all. Again, everybody in this movie was able to hit a note. So that's really all that mattered in the end. Um, so she did good with that. It was just the way it was. It was obvious that she was acting stupid rather than someone looking at the character going, yeah, that character's dumb. I hope I'm trying. I hope I'm getting my point the way I wanted to get it across because sometimes I stumble upon my words and I confuse people and that's not what I'm trying to do. I, that's really not what I'm trying to do. Once again, if this makes any sense, instead of looking at the character and seeing her perform and going, oh yeah, she's dumb. It was more like, oh, you're really trying so hard to play dumb. It doesn't, it doesn't fit. It's not, it's not good. That was my only issue with her. Um, so I did not enjoy any of her scenes as much as I was really hoping to enjoy. I think had the directors guided her in the right way, she would have done amazing. She would have nailed it. She would have been as good as it is in the musical and in the 2004 movie. But they didn't help her. That's my assumption. My assumption is that she was not helped. And they let her go on with this way of presenting Karen that was not good. In my opinion so now I'm trying my hardest to not like upset anyone because that's not at all what I'm trying to do once again I'm just doing this to like give my thoughts and my opinions and how I felt and how I was disappointed I've yet to see other people talk about this movie um not because I'm not saying people are not talking about it they are I just haven't stumbled upon any videos and I didn't look up any videos to see like what people thought and their opinions and all so I'm sure there's going to be people out there that think way differently than me. Anybody, ha everybody's entitled to their opinions. Um, so yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And once again, I'm not trying to like be rude or offend anybody or be mean or, or, or any of that. I'm just giving my opinions. I don't think she did Karen as she should have been done. And I do think it was because she was not guided. She was not helped out and... At the end, it all falls on the directors, in my opinion. And so sh they, they should have helped her out to do a better job at this. Again, my opinion, that's just what I think should have happened. Apart from that, I think she did pretty good. Um, She sang sexy pretty good. I know a lot of people loved it. The people I've spoken to, they all love that. Um, Her choreography was also good. She did pretty good with everything. It was just, again, the way Karen was acted and represented was not what I enjoyed. I think had she just not been looking kind of like lost and making her eyes kind of like wide, like, oh my God. Like, had she not done that, I think it would have been just fine. I think it was mostly the way she was acting with her eyes rather than like her facial expressions, her body language and stuff like that. Once again, Please don't be mad. I'm just trying to give my honest opinion here of how I felt. So so compared to the movie, there are some things that are different. Obviously, I do feel like that's something that had to happen just for the musical. So it's not all exactly the same. Like how they incorporate that Jason is like changing his voice and then he does the whole high pitch bitch thing was so funny. Um, and it was delivered nicely in the movie as well. So um, that was I think that's one of like my favorite scenes, which is like Jason being forced to like change his voice and all. I think now we can now that I kind of spoken on like the actors and how they 
play the characters and how I liked and didn't like. I think I can kind of get into a bit more on like what I noticed was a little bit different from the actual musical to the musical movie. So as I mentioned earlier, some of the songs were changed and some of the songs were removed. Um, I don't know if this was made so that the movie is not song, 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 song all around, which is valid and or it could have been done so that it wasn't as long because the musical i do think is like a little bit over two hours and the movie was made to be two hours so that also could have been it they just wanted to cut it short <clears throat> again understandable so so like i mentioned like um when that one song in the beginning changed from it roars to what ifs that was a change and i did hear people when we were walking out i heard some of the girls behind me talking about how like some songs would change and they were kind of annoyed blah 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 blah. and yeah maybe they were and that's totally okay again maybe they were looking forward to a song that wasn't in the movie so um it happens stuff like that happens we all have again we all have our opinions so i'm sorry that they didn't get the song that they wanted hopefully um they still really enjoyed the movie like one of the songs that i liked again that I mentioned earlier was like the reprise of um, Stupid With Love that was taken off. I think the fact that Aaron in the movie did not sing at all was something that really kind of um, bothered me as well. Like I was looking forward to hearing like him sing and stuff like that and just um, having those little moments and when they sang um, More Is Better in Katie's room, that was also a special moment that was kind of removed and you know, and led more towards like the actual scene from the movie and the party where Aaron's like you're just a clone of Regina and he leaves the room so it did play that more into the movie rather than in the musical same thing happens in the musical though um Aaron says the exact same things and he leaves Katie's room during the party I'm just saying that instead of like I'm just saying that they added more to the film scene and removing the songs and all and you know so that was what they did there. Another thing that I noticed that was different was Regina's costume. So once again, I haven't done any research, so I wonder if they did this for a reason. But Regina goes from a sexy bunny in both the movie and the musical to an angel in the movie. Now, had they done this, again, don't know why they did this. I can only assume that they did it because it's going to be when Regina betrays katie and kisses Aaron, so maybe she's dressed like an angel but we all know she's not an angel she's a mean girl she's going she's a life ruiner she's going to ruin your life and i think they were trying to do that and i think if that's if that's what it was it was perfect that she was dressed as an angel and she was playing hurt and oh i didn't think it was gonna be as hard as it is etc etc and like everybody sees me as this beautiful perfect girl but i have feelings all of these be being unpacked like that as she's dressed as an angel and portrays katie i think that was an amazing amazing touch perfect um another thing that was changed was janice's story so it was kind of the same but it was changed just a little bit in the movie we see damien telling the story which happens the same as in the musical but in the film he talks about how it was like the little stuffy and how Janet set it on fire because that's the story that Regina and Gretchen and Karen tell um, that they set Regina's backpack on fire. But then Damien calls, Damien shows us more into it of like, no, she tried to light this on fire, which caught the backpack a little bit. So we hear that story in the musical. Um, it does lead towards like the similarity of the movie where she couldn't invite Janice to the party because they thought she was a lesbian and lesbians weren't allowed situation. Um, rather than in the musical, we see in a musical film, we see the story of Regina um, trying to force Janice to come out of the closet in front of all these people in which Janice was not ready and forces herself to become the weird girl by saying, that she's an alien, blah, 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 etc. The change in that, I could kind of see why they would change that if they were trying to, like, not insult people and, like, well, if you're a lesbian, you're not allowed to be around straight girls type of situation. But 
they should have still shed light into that. And I think another issue that I have with that was that like the forcing of somebody to come out. Cause you're gonna come out, you're gonna come out when you're ready, baby. You ain't gonna come out when somebody's forcing you to come out, you know? And I think they I think they touched that nicely. Um but I think they could have also done nicely with leaving the original scene of like that's not okay. It don't matter what you are, it doesn't matter what how you associate yourself, like your pronouns and all, it shouldn't be an issue. You're still you should still be allowed to be around people because you're a person. You're a normal person. You're human, you know? Um, so they could have left that scene there to like talk about that. Um, but I do think in I guess I don't have an issue with it. I don't know why I had an issue with it. My apologies. But I do think in them also incorporating of like it's bad trying to force somebody to come out in front of everybody, especially when that person's not ready and that person's gonna come out when they're ready. So um that was a little change with Janice's story and I think it was I think it did great. I don't think there was anything wrong with it. I know it sounded like I was gonna I know I kinda started saying that there was something wrong with it. I said that it kinda bothered me. I don't know why I said that. No, it didn't. I'm dumb. Sorry guys. So another song that was not added in the movie was the Fearless song. I think that song should have stayed. I think it would have really added to the story of Katie being fearless, sending up to Regina, <clears throat> and how everybody is kind of free from her now. Um, I think it would have added very nicely, but they did remove it. Again, could have been removed because they didn't want song after song after song, or could have been removed because in the musical, um, Katie stands up to Regina by just saying, sorry, Regina, rules are rules. And in the movie, Katie does her. Rules are rules. You know, you ain't gonna sit with us. And I'm doing my bitch face. Even though it doesn't fit me. Because I have such a nice baby face. <laughs> um, um, so <laughs> there was like that change. I, it might, it could have been because of that. Because she delivered that, you know, you can't sit with us face. That they were just like, yeah, we're not gonna sing Fearless. Because, yeah. <laughs> Another song that was removed was Stop, which is a song that Damien sings when Katie is being a little too much already. Um, and so we see in the musical an amazing scene by Karen when she's talking about her Sandy nudes and how it was her nudes were exposed with other guys, obviously, because men and she then says how like maybe men should learn not to do that maybe i'm not the one that's our fault you know and they could have really played that up in the film <laughs> knowing damn well that guys boys teenagers men whatever are gonna go watch this movie most probably with sisters or friends girlfriends and they could have really added that scene and they didn't of course they fucking didn't and that ugh, i'm not even gonna get into it because i shouldn't have to get into it nobody should have to get into it but at the end of the day we can't be surprised that that was removed and that is also a reason why that song was also removed once again, I'm making assumptions. I'm not saying all of this is true. So do not quote me. I'm not trying to get sued here. But I think all in all, it was a good movie. I really did not hate it. I did have my comments. I did have my opinions. I do feel like there were other ways this could have been done better. But it was not. I'm about to start coughing. But it was not horrible. I think they could have done a little bit more with some of the scenes that were deleted or changed but apart from that it was again not a horrible movie i think they did an amazing job the cast was amazing they all did so good i just wish for those little things Aaron would have had his singing nights i think that would have been great um for karen to have been portrayed differently not, not portrayed differently i think just like the acting be a little bit different and it would have been fine 
I think also had they touched into I think also um I I will be right back in like two minutes okay so finishing up my makeup I'm obviously gonna go with my elf lip oil so <laughs> it's the same as the one Regina wears I think yeah um in that scene at the bathroom um during the spring formal there we go it was so funny though because um I had bought these like a few days before the movie and I was wearing this exact same one that day because I had work before we went to go watch the film and um when Regina comes up with this I was like I'm wearing the same one as Regina it was so funny my friend and I thought it was like the funniest thing ever all right so makeup is finished um I was going to like obviously be a little bit extra and like put on like a blonde wig or something but I'm not going to do that um but let's just go ahead and continue and finish talking about the movie now that my makeup is done so going back to the movie um those are some of the things that i think some of the things that i feel like could have been added and didn't have to be changed once again i was like aaron singing i think i was really looking forward to hearing aaron sing i was really looking forward to hearing him have his little moment with katie um but that didn't happen so had it been because the actor didn't sing they should have gotten a singer for it the role then had it been because they just cut it off because they didn't think it was gonna be fit in i don't know i do think some people might have been looking forward to Aaron singing. and they should have kept it they really should have kept it another thing that was changed that i thought was so funny in the musical because as somebody that like went through that when i was younger um was the fact that Aaron, like school district and all like his actress was changing all and when they like came up like he was removed from the school and he was homeschooled and all and he became the water boy at the math math olympics i thought that was so funny um being as somebody who like grew up with that where like my mom wanted me in a certain school and we had to use like her mom's address and stuff was just like uh, yes erin i get that <laughs> don't worry you're not the only one buddy you know it was just so funny to me um and the fact that that was kind of the movie was kind of like okay but it really didn't like change anything i think they try to keep that as well connected to the real movie the first movie and like aaron didn't have that much like stuff you know some things that i really 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 liked from the movie was the way they incorporated like all the choreography and like the songs and all the way they brought together world burn was great i think it was presented really really well and someone gets hurt the someone gets hurt music like the song choreography and everything the way it was performed in the movie i was fucking baffled i was like this is a whole ass music video this isn't a musical movie this is a whole music video in the movie and it did so good i loved whoever did the whole choreography for that one you deserve an award you did so good i really really liked it it was one of my favorites world burn again was pretty amazing um my partner really really liked that one i th uh, think it was like the favorite scene music wise in the whole film but i think that's all i have to say i don't think i have any other comments or stuff like that and i just want to repeat for like the 100th time these are my thoughts and my opinions with everything that i know i'm not a professional i'm not saying all of these things are true or not um so please don't make something out of this i'm just making this for fun something that i always wanted to do was be like a film critic <laughs> and i think it's fun to talk about movies after you've seen them and just give out your thoughts and opinions and i love listening to other people's thoughts and opinions as well so i figured hey i might as well do this little known fact i did this with the elvis movie but i did not feel comfortable posting it and i deleted the video and i never made it online and so i figured you know what let me do it with mean girls i'm gonna do it with mean girls and i'm as even if the video is so bad or i feel like i'm dumb and i don't know what i'm talking about i'm gonna post it so i'm gonna post this no matter what please don't make fun of me if i'm being dumb i will cry but this is the makeup it's very 
neutral and fresh wise in my opinion because i do tend to do like other types of makeup looks um and yeah i hope y'all like it sorry my hair is not that great that's all i really got <laughs> that's all i gotta say about that <laughs> so if you do go watch mean girls please go ahead and go in with it knowing that it is the musical not the movie if you haven't seen the musical i would recommend to watch the musical it is nowhere to be found rather than youtube um so there are like recorded ones if i'm not mistaken but yeah but if you have to go watch me girls i do hope you guys enjoy it because again i really did enjoy it there was just a couple of things that i wish could have been different but that's how it is with every movie there's always something that like goes wrong in the movie so you know it's not gonna change anything it's not gonna it's not gonna be the end of the world apart from that there's really not much more else for me to say there's really not much more else for me to do so I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys um, enjoy me ranting very randomly and like not making sense every now and then because I know I didn't make sense every now and then but sorry guys this is my first time doing this to where like I'm not going to not post it so yeah I do hope you guys enjoy my video please go ahead and do what every YouTube person asks you to do and um yeah um I do want to go ahead and try and do this more when like, I review movies and all, but it is, it, I don't know, I'm always afraid of that one because I don't want people to get mad or offended and stuff like that because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just giving my opinions, my thoughts and opinions, that's all, really, so, yeah. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed Mean Girls and I hope you guys enjoyed the musical as well. And let me know which one's your favorite song from both the musical and the movie and how you like that they played out. Yeah. I'd be interested in that. All right, you guys have fun and take care. And yeah, we'll see y'all next time. Bye. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs>